in today's session of Divorce Court. When Tom met Terry, he knew they'd be together forever. But after four years, Terry says she's had enough. I wanted a divorce the day after we got married because he beat me up. The day after you were married? Yes. Oh, so I'm just a bad guy because I used to be a bad guy? No, you're getting disrespectful to me. Terry says Tom never worked and even made her pay him to watch their kids. He was going to charge me $250 a week. $250 a week? Cheaper than a babysitter. Well, I'm going to make sure this divorce ends real quick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now Tom and Terry Fox have come to end their marriage in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. <clears throat> Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Tom Fox and Terry Fox. I'm advised that after four years of marriage, two of which you have lived separate, that you have both decided to divorce. Ms. Fox, you filed for this divorce and you want to end the relationship. Tell me why. Well, I filed for the divorce because he's abusive, he's a freeloader, and he's cheated on me several occasions. Um, he... Abusive, a freeloader, and he's cheated on you on several occasions. Let's start yeah, with the well, abuse. I'm a changed man now, though. Well, now. She, that's why she's filing for divorce. <laughs> abusive, a freeloader, and he's cheated on you on several occasions. Let's start with the abuse. What, what, tell me about that. Um, the first, the first year of our relationship, it was really great, and then... When I got pregnant with our first son, uh, just we started drifting apart, I guess. He hit me. And Mr. Fox pregnant. standing here would hit you? Yes, while I was pregnant as well. He hit oh. you when you was pregnant? With both children, yes. Mr. Fox. Oh, I'm not. I'm tell not gonna, me that that's not true. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I used to be a real bad person, but I'm going to tell you right now, I've changed my life around. But tell me, what reason would you have? If you heard her screaming at you like that and coming him. and hitting on you, you would too. Excuse me? I mean, you would too. Would do what? Push her back away from you, keep her away from you when she's screaming in your face and, and hitting on you. I'd be screaming because she's Screaming been... in your face and hitting on you. Yeah. That's the only time you hit her? Basically, whenever she would go off like crazy, I, I would. I mean, I've changed, so I'm not even going to worry about none of that. So now but that you've changed, is, you don't think we need to worry about any of that? No, because it's, it's in the past. It's over with. We're not here to discuss whether or not I was a bad person in my past I or, or not. I well, What are we here to discuss? What we're here to discuss is the TV that I and, should... And why do you think that's rightfully yours? Why? Yes. Because, I mean, we've put uh, together... We have put, we put together so much our money into I've this earned. relationship, right? What did and you put into it other than the abuse than, and the drug problem? Well, I did put in money when I was working. When I wasn't working, she was... Paying I, you I, to watch the kids? I was watching the kids. Oh, I what? Worked. You paid him to watch your kids? He, char he charged me. I, I no, went she offered to, to pay. And he Let me hear this clear. She you offered paid to pay. him to watch your kids yes. that you had she by him? Is that what you're saying, Mrs. Fox? Yes, because he was taking care of the children. How much said, did you pay him? Uh, he, when he had called me in Nevada, he said I was he, he was going to charge me two hundred and fifty dollars a week. No. Two hundred and fifty dollars no. a week? No. And, no. Uh, you said, yes, you, you did, and I was sending you a over a thousand a week. Plus the fact is, all that money went into the house you to repair the house. You kept asking me every other day to stuff. send you I money. I didn't go there. No. I wired uh -uh. you money every other day. No. Yeah, from yeah. Nevada. And what did it do? It bought clothes, to 200 to 500 to $700 on... It went food uh, and, yeah. Wait a minute. Where were the kids? With him. And Why weren't you working, Mr. Mr. Fox? Why wasn't I working? Because she had made the choice. Because she had turned around and made the choice to go out of state to go to work. Because the bills my, were piling me. up. You weren't yeah. doing nothing. Please, my lips are... You know, my mouth is about to drop open. Please. Explain to me that she wasn't paying you to take care of the kids, that she was sending you money to pay bills, to buy food, yeah, she et cetera, was money for the children. For all that, yeah. Not for child care. Exactly. I still pay for child care now. No, you Excuse offered. Me? I pay him ten dollars a night. And she, you're, she's now paying you, the she father of offers. the children. She offers because she knows right now that I'm struggling. Ten dollars a night to babysit. 
You cheaper than a babysitter, because my kids are totally unruly. She can't take care of them. I, I, I cheaper than a babysitter. Straight up. Did you ever, what do you think a parental responsibility is? Oh, I do that regardless. She can't take care of my kids. She doesn't know how. So I mean, why I are you accepting ten dollars per night from your wife to take care of your children? Why? Because she's giving it to me. So when she says you're a freeloader, does she th is she right? No. How because would you define it? Why? Be oh no, but no way. Because look, check this out. I put I've put into this relationship too. I've okay. given you and your girlfriend and she, food she's for put, a year. She's put back and forth, back and forth, blah, blah, blah. Let me hear what he's put into this relationship since it's been four years of marriage, two years of separated, and one year you've been out of work. What have you put in it? What have I put in it? Yes. Um, my time and, Doing what? and my hard work, taking Doing care what? of the house, keeping the house up. You haven't been there. How many are you talking about? You have not been there. You've yeah, what with, do you do? You've you been let with the your kids walk all over you. All you over call me every stinking day over One at Angel's child house. is abusive and, Who and is Angel? tells me off. My girlfriend. You're still living with her and you got a girlfriend, Angel? She got a boyfriend. What's the difference? I, I, I mean, no, we're not I compatible. We're not, we don't get along anymore. We're better off separate and apart from each other than when we are together because so we just don't get along. So why are you living with Angel or somewhere else? It's well, I was for a little while. And what happened there? Well, there was some conflict with the apartment and me not she being on the them on my doorstep. Not being on the lease. Excuse and me? I wasn't on her lease. Uh-huh. So there was some conflict with the manager. So the manager put you out. The manager said, well if he's not on the lease, you know, he can't be there. Why didn't you go on the lease? You're staying there? Well for one, it's a one bedroom apartment that my girlfriend lives in. It's kind of really small. And that's okay? too small for you, huh? And a three we bedroom house there. you just home. Yeah. Cause you deserve yeah. much more than a one bedroom apartment. It ain't, like, it ain't like that. You know, well, I have a three-bedroom like house, so you know, naturally he. And, that. and she goes, "Oh, since you, since you're the father of the children, our children, you know that uh, you can go ahead and stay here any time that you really need to." See, she, she's I coming said, off. If is he that what ever you said? needed a place to stay, I could not see having my children's father out on the street and then wondering if Daddy's okay or not. A so man that beats you. She said. Um, Let, when, wait, wait, wait. Let me understand this now. Your but turn. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, He's you still, wait a minute. I me. said wait, You're, let me no, understand something. I'll tell you this. I have children. I said wait, let me understand something. You wait a minute. But you, you don't think tell I'm still me to wait a minute. Right now, though. That's once. And this is not baseball, so it's not three strikes. You're out. Now, let me understand something from you, Mrs. Fox. You, you said to your husband, who has a girlfriend, Angel, a man that beats you, which you've told me, yeah. a man that charges you or accepts $250 a week from you to take care of your children, a man that doesn't work, that if he ever needs a place to live, you can't see him on the streets. Do you really think that he would be on the streets if he didn't stay at your house? Um, I don't know. I just, it's a promise I made to my children to always make sure that he'd be okay if he had nowhere to go. But he also told me, I told him if he came to stay with me, he was going to pay me for the room that he was going to take. Mrs. Fox, you owe a responsibility to take care of your children, <laughs> not do. Mr. Fox. And I, do you... Look at him. He's still my husband, still legally, he's still my husband, and he says that as long as he is my husband, I still should be able to take, I should take care of him. Well, I'm going to make sure this divorce ends real quick so you don't have to take care of him. Hallelujah. I'm tired of taking care Hallelujah. of him. Hallelujah. So he Hallelujah. won't be your husband anymore, and you won't have that responsibility. When divorce court returns, Terry makes a startling confession. I wanted a divorce the day after we got married because he beat me up. The day after you were married? Are you getting divorced? Do you need Judge Maybelline Ephraim's help settling a dispute? If you want to be a guest on Divorce Court, call 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in session as Terry testifies about the violence in her marriage. divorce the day after we got married because he beat me up at the day after we were married. The day after you were married? Yes. 
Mr. Fox? Did like you do I, that? Like I told you before, I am not going to sit here and tell you um, that I never was a bad man or whatever, but I have changed now. So, me, so now me you don't there, beat anybody? No. no. When was the last time you beat somebody? Right after he got together with Angel. Who did he beat then? Me. And you're still with him? I told him. I, She's know, been wanting a divorce for a while, and I wouldn't it. give it to her. I was uh, so scared to Why, him. Mr. Fox? Because I wanted to work on this relationship. I was but afraid. now I really don't care. <laughs> what do I have to do for you today? What do you want from me so we can end this marriage? I want him to grow up and go get a life and leave me alone and quit asking me for things. Don't I worry about him you. growing up and getting a life I and have. quit asking you for things. He can ask you, don't give it to him. And, I want and him. who cares if he gets a life? Worry about your life. I want him to be a good role model for his children. Well, that you need to be a good role model, too. And one yeah. part of that is not letting your children see you take abuse off a man and not letting your children see you support another man. A man. You teach your sons to be men. I was just Otherwise, scared. they get the picture that women are Oops. supposed to support them. Right. All right? You be a good role model by doing that. Now, what else can I get for either of you today? What are you asking me for so that I can hurry up and end this marriage? He's asking. Just want the TV and what type of TV are we talking about? I'm talking like a 27 inch Magnavox. But my house was furnished before that TV came in and it broke, and so I replaced the TV with that one. You replaced That TV is community I paid property. 100, I paid $100 out of my working hard, my work money that I earned, and I bought a oh, and TV I didn't off help? of a friend of ours. So to replace the one that broke, and, and my take... mom, re and my mom furnished in the house, which my mom is and my landlord. And what... That wasn't to replace that. That TV was for us. No, that, that wasn't was to replace to re the TV. You that sold your mom the 32-inch TV that was for us. We, you sold that one. Yeah, and a then you bought a 13-inch TV? TV. How do you afford a 32-inch TV it with was, only one person working? It was given to us from a friend. Oh. And he sold it, and he got a 13-inch TV and a VCR that he that I took bought on the road with money. him. Excuse me, did you sell a 32-inch TV? Yeah, and what, where'd the money go? I don't know. To the bills? For and everything? you bought a 13-inch TV, and you bought a VCR, and you, I let you take that when you left. Did you that, buy a that TV and VCR? TV? That TV and VCR has absolutely nothing to do with this right here. It had to do Who with says? the money that was. Uh, Who says, says it has me? Because I paid for that. It came I from the money it. from the TV. I, I, excuse me. No, it stop. Didn't. I want to know when did you get to be the judge? <laughs> when did I, I don't, I'm not the judge. You're well, you the just judge. said it has you're, nothing you're to do judge. with it. Because that TV has nothing to do with it. I decide whether it that has TV's anything to do with it. That TV's already in my possession. That's already my TV. I decide whether it has anything to do with it. Now, when did you get, did you sell the 32-inch TV? Yes. Did you buy did. a 13-inch TV? Yes, we did. Did you buy a VCR? Yes. And did you do that while you were married? Yes. But you said it has nothing to do with anything, and I decide whether it has anything to do the, with anything. My TV and my VCR has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that we're fighting over this big TV and that entertainment center. And, you, and you're sure about that? I'm positive. Okay. <clears throat> What else you want to tell me about the entertainment center? I think because, you know, I'm going to hurry up and end this case because I think you're getting me the confused with Mrs. Fox. No, I'm, so, I'm sorry, no. The no. entertainment center is community property. Because, you know, you're getting a real loose in your talk and your conversation and a well, little disrespectful. And I think you're I'm beginning sorry. to think that I'm Mrs. Fox. I'm sorry that, that you feel that way, but, I mean, this is something that... Not only should you be sorry that I feel that way, when I start to feel that way, things usually happen that you don't like. Oh, so I'm just a bad guy because I used to be a bad guy? No, you're getting disrespectful to me. And when you I'm get that way... I'm sorry. Trying or not, I'm telling you now. Now close your mouth while I'm talking. Your little flippant conversations don't work in this court. I don't play that. She gets the house and everything. We've been renting to own this house. Are you house buying the house? My mother We've been owns the to, house. Her mother owns the house. We've been basically paying off the uh, the mortgage, and then the house becomes hers and the, and the kids. I don't want nothing not to do with the house. Not paid off now, right? No. And it's still in her mother's name. Yes. yes. So you're still paying rent. She's still paying I, rent. And you're leaving, and you're not going. You haven't paid in in a while, right? Right. When's the last time you paid in? We paid together. No, I. When's the last yes. time you paid? From Me? your earnings. 
rent. I never did pay the rent. I'm going to take a break and may decide this case. When divorce court resumes, the judge renders her verdict and an update on the case of Arlene Greer versus Kevin Greer. I have stood by his side through thick and thin, and now he's ready to dump me and my daughter. Divorce court is back, and the verdict is in in the case of Tom and Terry Fox. This is the matter of Tom Fox and Terry Fox. The court gladly will pronounce a judgment of dissolution of marriage that should have ended long time ago, shortly after it begun. It's just been an exercise in futility, and I hope you haven't scarred these children for life. But to watch the two of you in action, it has to be disappointing for the children. Mrs. Fox, you have been a victim of domestic violence, but you too have inflicted domestic violence. The fact that you're angry over money or anything else does not give you cause to pick up tools or anything and throw at your husband or any other man. You too must learn some self-control. You're small and people will feel sorry for you but at the same time, you can start some violence yourself. And some of this you've allowed to perpetrate and you brought it on yourself. And I was just Leave the man alone. The television and the entertainment center, you say that your 13 inch TV and the VCR has nothing to do with it. Okay. I'm gonna show you that it does. And it's by this. They were purchased during the marriage. So they too are community property. You now have possession of them. That's community property. The TV and entertainment center was purchased during the marriage and it's community property. This court can divide the property equally and give both of you a share of the community property. The fact that you have it in your possession, I can still declare it as part of the division of community property. The fact that you didn't ask me to divide it doesn't stop me from considering it as part of the division of property. So it does have something to do with it. Has so much to do with it, I declare that you've gotten an equal share and I'm awarding the television and entertainment center that's in the home to Mrs. Fox. That's the judgment of the court. Court's adjourned. All rise. The parties may leave the courtroom. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Arlene Greer versus Kevin Greer. He lost his weight and decided that he's too good for me. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. When Kevin and Arlene got married, they both weighed nearly 300 pounds. But Kevin lost 110 pounds, and Arlene says that's when the trouble began. He lost his weight and decided that he's too good for me. I have stood by his side through thick and, and thin, and, and now he's ready to dump me and my daughter. You I do not love yourself. Kevin, my heart is broken. You have ripped my heart out. Arlene brought Kevin to divorce court to ask the judge to have Kevin pay all her living expenses for three months so she could get on her feet financially. What do you have to say about her proposal that you pay her expenses for the next I, three months for she and I your th child? I think that's entirely too long of a time for someone to get on their feet. The judge agreed to make Kevin pay for two months. Now Kevin and Arlene are working on a parenting plan so they can both take care of their daughter. And Arlene has started exercising and has lost 12 pounds. I felt that was basically, my whole character was just totally torn apart. I mean, yeah, so what, I used to be bad, but I totally changed. Uh, I'm just sorry it had to come down this way. 